Welcome everyone to a beautiful morning here in the Alpine Mountains in the new Alpine Farming Expansion for Farming Simulator 19. And we've got a big day plan. You can already see we've gotten started with some field work here, getting some grass mowed. Now we're not quite ready uh, to work field three. It's not quite ready to be harvested, but we have got plenty to do even without field number three today. So we got to get grass mowed for a couple of reasons. Number one, of course, is we need to take care of our cows, but also we're going to have some additional animals here on the farm that are going to need that hay. And we'll get back to that here in just a moment. Take a look in the top right hand corner. We've got $126,000 and we are going to need it because today we are going to expand and bring some more animals to the farm. So up until now, We've been dealing exclusively with cows. Uh, you can see over here, let's see if this guy is filled up yet. Uh, he might actually be, yeah, by the looks of things here. It looks like he is indeed full. Okay, so we'll get back to him shortly because we need to take that off to be sold at the BGA, which of course we now own. All right, so here I have just sold off the milk and the profits from the milk are how we got to the 126,000. Uh, but we got a little bit of maintenance to take care of with the cows. Obviously, uh, we got a little bit of a mess here we need to take care of. And that brings us to another change that I've made here on the farm. Um, I have decided to go a little different direction on cleaning the stalls to what I would call the traditional way of doing it and certainly a much easier way of doing it. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on our belt. So this guy will begin and we're simply going to leave him here and he will simply clean all of this up now before I had been using uh, a different method but it just got a little bit tiresome uh, doing it time after time because it wouldn't quite get everything uh, without several passes by uh, mostly because of you can see the little spikes that form here in uh, the mesh so that was causing some issues so I decided just to go back to the old trustworthy way of doing it so this guy will have it cleared up here momentarily let's take a quick look at our cows and see how we're doing uh, we've got plenty of straw in here and of course we'll continue filling that up uh, we're going to need that straw here uh, in the future for another one of our animals as well water we're doing okay hay and silage again okay but certainly not uh, the best it could be all right let's come over here to the water and let's go ahead and fill that water up about 44%. So they still got several days left, but no reason to make them wait. We'll go ahead and turn on the water and make sure that's filled up. Okay, I think our cows are taken care of for now. Okay, grass mowing is well underway, but for right now we need to take we need to take a little visit over here to field number one. So I decided to go ahead and purchase field number one. Now field two is a bit of a mystery for me, but because of the layout here, I'm not sure we can actually work, work field two uh, as long as crop destruction is on, of course, simply because we've already seen uh, many occasions, field four, they run way into field two, same thing with field three. So I haven't quite decided what I wanna do with field two, but I went ahead and purchased field one that was already uh, sown with grass so we didn't have to worry about anything there but we have got some new animals we need to welcome I went ahead and placed down uh, their animal pen all right we'll let that guy get to work uh, but I'm actually going to drive over there and to do so we're gonna hop in our tractor and trailer and do exactly that So again, for right now, we do not own field number two until I can figure out what on earth we're going to do with it that will not interfere with our operations on field three and four. So here we go. Field one, not a huge field, but I think it's going to be perfect for the next phase of our farm. So for those of you who play the game, you'll recognize this as the large horse pen. So this is where the horses will go, and it will hold, I believe it's up to 16 horses here. Now right now we don't have any horses. That's because I was waiting for you guys to join before we bought the horses. So the hay that we're making over on field four today is going to come over to 
the horses, or at least as much as we need anyway. We'll come over here. Uh, we will take care of the water as well. Of course, right now we don't need any water because we don't have any horses yet. But I figure we have got room for about two of these over here on field one, and then perhaps uh, a little bit of storage, maybe a hay barn, something along those lines as well. But for right now, let's focus on the horses because the horses, for those of you who may not be familiar with them, the horses are basically a money cheat code in this game because their return is huge. And to give you a good illustration of that, let's come over and actually go ahead and purchase our horses. Now we've got several options for the types of horses. For our purposes, it really won't matter. They're all exceedingly beautiful, regardless of which ones you choose. So you've got several options here. I, I like the seal brown. They are gorgeous as well. Of course, the bay chestnut. Again, all of these are absolutely amazing horses. But the pinto, to me, stands out the most. So we're going to actually use the pintos right now. And I am going to move over all 16 of these. And of course, because they're being delivered, we're going to have a small fee. But to me, that is more than worth it versus the cost of purchasing a trailer and ferrying them back and forth from the animal dealer because you can't hold 16 in one trailer. So you're going to have to make several trips, making that $4,800 more than worth it. So for 80 grand or a total of around $85,000, we're going to get 16 horses. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And there they are in all their glory. Of course, normally uh, in the future, we will be mixing these up, a few of each kind, but for right now, the Pintos are really making it happen. All right, so now we can come over here and we can turn on the water and get these guys some water to drink. So now we've got a couple of things left that we need to take care of for the horses. So here's our cow pasture. We're sitting at 188 right now. Max is 200 in that pasture. But here in the horse paddock, we need to get oats, hay, and straw. Well, nothing new there. Hay and straw is exactly what we have been doing this entire time for the cow. So really the only new thing are the oats. And it just so happened that the last couple of harvests that we've done here on uh, field four, if I swing around here, field four right over there, I have been uh, harvesting oats off of that field and saving them up. So let's take a quick look and see how much oats we have. So here are the silos owned. You can see our capacity. We're at 64,662 liters right now. So we should have plenty of oats for these guys. So while we're busy working on field number four and cutting that grass, we're gonna head our way over to the farm silo and we're gonna fill up with oats. And we're gonna see exactly how many oats we need for these 16 horses. So I mentioned uh, back to the discussion of the money and how these guys, the horses are basically money cheat codes here in the game. And that is because we might have paid 5,000 for these guys. And hold on, let's just take a look here. Is this guy done? No, he's not quite done. He's got a couple more passes. But while they might have cost $5,000, when we sell these, they're going to be at fifty. dollars thousand dollars so that is a huge amount of profit now it does take several days to get there so it's not going to be an overnight thing but going from five thousand to fifty thousand in value is a huge advantage so we're going to be bringing home you guys can do the math there and see that we're going to be bringing home a ton of money not only in uh the gross sales but also overall in the profit so let's just get in here oh i almost went to the wrong one I almost went to the drop off All right, so let's unload the oats here. And again, I have no idea if we're going to need exactly all of this, but we'll go ahead and fill up our existing trailer, and then we'll simply bring back and drop off any amount that we don't end up needing. So now, for those of you who may not be familiar with the horses and working with the horses and wondering, okay, what am I gonna have to do in order to make that money. Oh, we've gotten stuck here. Of course we did. And this is the problem 
with just that little bit of silage right there. Now, you wouldn't think that would cause any trouble, but it obviously will. So we'll simply go around it and continue on. So with the horses, you're going to have to do other than the obvious, which is to give them food, uh, take care of hay, oats, and straw. You're also going to need to ride them. They need their exercise, and that's how they ultimately increase in value, and that happens on a daily basis. So if you do not ride them on a daily basis, then you're going to have issues, and they will not increase in value. So definitely want to make sure that you're riding them each day. I believe it's about five minutes per horse, So, meaning that when you ride around on a horse for about five minutes, that's going to reach 100% fitness for the day. And that way, uh, at midnight, they will actually increase in value. And overall, it is not all that hard. However, you can start to do a little bit of math and realize that with 16 horses, that's a lot of time you're going to spend riding. All right, so now let's figure out exactly how many oats we need. All right, there you can see the food filling up in the trough. All right, so we're definitely going to use the entire thing. All right, so if we come back into our horses, uh, let's see what we've got. So, okay, oats, 21,000. So that's enough for a few days, but certainly nowhere near enough to take care of all of their food needs for the duration. So we're simply going to head back over, and we're going to get another load. And in the meantime, this guy, I believe he is on his last... His last pass there cutting the grass and that's going to be important because as soon as he's done I'm going to need to get the wind rower out there and get him started so let's just go ahead and park here on the side hop out and I believe we're going to get the message here in just a moment that says this guy is done but in the meantime let's go ahead and get our wind rower up and running and yeah that's exactly where he's going never mind we're not gonna have time I cut things a little too close with our time so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this guy and get him parked he has done an amazing job and you, you can see it didn't take him very long to do that either all right not bad so now let's head back over to the wind rower and actually get him started it reminds me that you know tabbing through all of these vehicles is nice and it certainly comes in handy but boy it would certainly be nice if i could set some sort of order to it because <laughs> it seems like every time i do this uh the one that i actually want is the very last one we're going to come to in the list and we're going to have to go through all of the rest of them to get there all right so our huge wind rower made by crone uh, so I've already got everything loaded up for this guy. He's got two courses on here. We only need one for this particular uh, endeavor. We just need the wind rowing. The other course is the drop-off over uh, for the cows. But it doesn't cause any trouble now. So this guy will simply take care of the wind rowing. And then for our part, we're going to make sure we get some more oats in here so we'll take care of one more load of oats at least and then we will get busy uh, working our way on the loading wagon because we're going to need to gather some of this hay and get it over to the horses so now we've got some decisions to make going forward I don't think we have enough land for everything we're going to need for our hay responsibilities so now we've got not only uh, closing in on 200 cows, but now we're also going to have some horses. For right now, it's only 16, but in the future, I would love nothing more than to expand that and make it two horse pastures back there. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and load up. So once again, the oats. So we had another 43,000 in there. We'll be able to get about half that on this particular load. And it also lets me know that uh, field four for the time being, or excuse me, field three for the time being, 
is going to have to be oats. That's going to be our oats field, and we're going to need lots and lots of it. Okay, there's our field roller there to the right. But yeah, lots of activity going on just on a normal basis here on the farm. And we haven't even taken a look over at our our wine grapes just yet. We So I have no idea whether they are in dire need of food and water or not. So yeah, there is a farmer's work is certainly never done in real life or in the game. And as I've mentioned before, we're only a few fields in. We're only working uh, two, realistically, two fields. And we've got all of this going on. So this is what's fun about Farming Simulator. There is always something that needs to be done on the farm. All right, so now these guys have got plenty of oats to last them several days as this continues to fill up. There we go, as we're done, let's go ahead and take another quick look. So where are we? We're at 42,000. Okay, so that is perfect. That means one more load should fill these guys up and last for several days. In fact, it might actually last for the duration that we're actually going to have these particular horses before they're sold off and we bring in some new horses. So that's good. That lets me know exactly how many horses um, or how much the horses are going to eat and how much we're going to need in oats to take care of that. So this guy, you can see, he's almost done. He's got one to two more passes and he's going to be finished. So that's going to be perfect timing for our needs because we're going to need to hop in that tractor, hook it up to the loading wagon, and we're going to fill it up with hay. So obviously this is something that I could automate with course play in the future, but as of right now, we're still very early on. Uh, in fact, I just purchased the cow pasture, so I've definitely not run any, I've not run any automation for that just yet in course play, but we'll get there. And that's what we're gonna need to do in order to continue our expansion. All right, again, not sure we're gonna need quite the entire 21,000 here uh, to fill it up as I try to remember and remind myself do not run over that silage right there <laughs> don't run over that man that goes back several days uh, to when I was just getting started on the map and of course we've also got another pin up here which still has some manure in it that could be sold so there's money making opportunities literally everywhere on our small farm So before too long, as I hit a couple of signs there, pay no attention to those signs. So our expansion opportunities in the near future are going to include either uh, getting more cows to fill up our smaller cow pasture in the main farm area, or do we want to purchase more horses, which of course are going to be extremely lucrative for us in the long run. So the next time we're together, it will more than likely be when it's time to sell these horses and make an absolute ton of money. So we'll let this fill up and see just how much of the 21,000 oats it needs. Wow, it looks like it's gonna use, yeah, it's gonna use all of it. I did not see that coming. So, okay, that is essentially, so 63,000 is basically full. So that means full is probably going to be somewhere around 64, 65,000. Again, just a good number to know for the future. As we uh, look at that number versus how many oats do we get in a normal, normal harvest on field number three. All right, so this guy, you can see there, he is done. So actually, I don't think he's going to stop right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this off right here for now and we're going to try to run this guy down on foot not sure exactly where he's going but he's definitely not stopping there and that's simply because I didn't tell him to stop at the end but he's good to go there and we're actually going to run this route uh, ourselves right now 
because I do not want him to drop off the full loading wagon over for uh, the cows. Not yet. We'll see how much these guys need in hay. But today is all about the beginnings. The beginnings for the horses. We need to find out some numbers. We need to see how much they need as far as hay, how much in, ho in um, oats, and how much in straw. But of course, the straw we're not quite ready for just yet. We'll have to wait for our next harvest to find that out. All right, so we got the, the pickup lowered. We've got the pickup on, I believe. Are we on? Yes, we are on. All right, so we'll go ahead and gather some of this hay. Now, that is a lot of hay. I mean, think about this for a moment. Let's try to get this guy centered up as best we can. Now, take a look at how tall that stack of hay is compared to his wheels. And remember, this is our huge 300-plus horsepower tractor. And, yeah, that's a lot of hay there. All right, let's make sure. Are we not missing any, are we? No, nah, we're not. Despite my terrible driving and inability to maintain a straight line with this huge amount of hay, we seem to be doing just fine. So every time I do one of these videos, I am thinking, okay, it, this video won't take all that long because like for today's video, all we really need to do is we need to finish up cutting the grass. We need to collect the hay and then we need to take it over to uh, our new horses that we're going to buy today. And that shouldn't be all that big of a deal. But every time it happens, it always takes longer than you think. Just reinforcing once again that there is never a shortage of stuff to do on the farm. So for those of you who have not yet gotten into the farming simulator games, whether it's... Uh, 19 the newest game to come out or 17 15 and so on uh, you're really missing out anyone in the series is going to be a lot of fun a lot more fun than you would ever imagine it to be it's one of those games that you generally purchase uh, because you see it on sale or on a dare from one of your friends uh, just to try it out and then you end up loving it and spending hundreds of hours playing it I mean, just for today while we're doing this video, we're going to spend easily 30 plus minutes in the game and we haven't even come close to doing everything that we need to do for our farm. So keep that in mind as your farm grows and just how much time you're going to end up spending on a regular basis. It is a very addictive game. And I, for one, am all for it. All right, so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way and just enjoy the visuals. I mean, in the background, look at those mountains. You've got, we've got our ski lift going up to the top of the mountain. I mean, there's, if you can't find something beautiful to look at on this map, then I don't know what to tell you. This is a beautiful map to play on. All right, so let's get a little bit closer. Let's make sure we're in... Line hay is not accepted here. So am I in the wrong spot? Am I going to have to take it over there? So only the straw is going to be accepted there. Okay. My bad. I wasn't paying attention. I got too excited looking at the mountains and forgot exactly where I was. But the game is quick to remind me that, no, you're not doing it right. We're going to need you to um, do it correctly. And there you go. But yeah, just, I mean, look at these beautiful horses. A much requested feature uh, in previous games, and now we have them in all of their glory. But if that's not, folks, that is probably going to be your screenshot for the thumbnail. And if it's not, then that must mean that I found something that I liked even better. So now we've gotten them one load of hay, and yes, all right, perfect. So that's all but full for our purposes so that means that the remainder of this grass can be sent over to the cows and once again you can see I'm just going to run right over field number two here because well there's no reason not to so this guy I'm actually going to bring him over and I'm going to start him at the very beginning 
And the reason I'm going to do that is just because I'm going to turn him loose. I'm just going to turn him loose. Now, obviously, right now, he's not going to have anything to gather right here. But as he continues on, he will end up working the, the grass, or excuse me, the hay, collecting it, and then sending it right over to where it needs to be for those cows. So again, just doing some mental calculations on how much hay I'm going to need to support 16 horses as well as approximately 200 cows. So as we wrap up today's video, we did a lot for our future monetary situation. We're going to have money flowing in left and right because these 16 horses, again, we purchased them for 5,000 and then they're going to end up being worth 50,000 max. So that will keep our bank account full for a very long time and go a long way toward getting us out of debt very quickly. So that is a recipe for success long term for our farm. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're enjoying the Alpine farming expansion as much as I am.